Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to send the get request, okay? So from the Postman. So in our previous video, we have seen how to create the dummy fake REST API by using the JSON server NPM dependency. So please refer the previous video to continue with, I mean, uh, to continue the get request. Okay, so now, so this is a file, I mean, we have created as a data.json file, which is going to act as a JSON server, okay? So to start our server, what you have to do, you have to go to the respective file directory, because I mean, if you are maintaining this file in some other directory, so what you have to know, you have to go to that particular directory and you have to give your file name, I mean, the data.json file name to start with your JSON server. So instead of doing that, so my file is under desktop, so in the Postman tutorial. So this is my location directory. So I'm directly going here and open the terminal. So from here, I can start my JSON server. So this is a command, JSON server, your file name dot JSON, okay? Since my I'm, I'm into the same directory, I'm directly giving the file name. So if you are, I mean, uh, open the terminal from some other directory, then you have to give the complete file location of your JSON file, okay? And by default, this will be starting in the 3000 port. If you want to change, you can provide like a hyphen hyphen port and you have to mention the port number. Okay, so that is also being covered in our previous video. So when I hit enter, so my resource is started, right? So this is my base URL and the tester is a path, right? That is what we have in the JSON. So now we will copy this path, I mean resource, we'll go to Postman. So we'll open the one new tab in the workbench or you can go for the new option so from there you can click on the stdp request or you can simply click on this plus icon also which will open the new tab okay so i'm just copy pasting the url here so when i send this one so i'm able to get the response the response status code is coming as a 200 so anything under 200 series it is sign up success okay so most of the time for the get method you will be getting as a 200 okay so get is nothing so the get method request is a representation of the specified resource. Okay, so you will uh, try to read the data or try to retry the data from the server. Okay, so here uh, if you see send the body, send the body is uh, I mean it is not a right approach to send the body in the get method. Okay, most of the time in 99 percentage you will not face that case. So if at all if you are facing I mean a request body, I mean the request body is not at all applicable in the get method. Okay, so when you send the get method, you will get only response. Okay, so there might be like a query parameter or path parameter you can use, but request body is not applicable for the get method. Okay, and you will be getting as a 200 status code, which is sign up success. Most of the time, you will be get 200 for the get method. Okay, so sometimes you might get for a 202, I mean, 202 will not come, 204 also will not come. Only 200 is a 99 percentage or 100 percentage, we can say. Okay, so get method, you will get, I mean, most of the time you will be getting as a 200 status code as okay. Okay, so now what we can do, this is our database, right? So the server is connected to our database. So now this is acting as a database. So what we can do, so we can add a couple of uh, details here. Okay, I'm going to add one record here. Okay, for example, name. And I'm providing the name as John. Okay. So I have added one entry. I have added one object here. You can see this is one object, right? So we have added to our database. So when I go, go to the get method again, if I send this request, so still I could not see the details whatever we have added, right? So we have added this attribute, which is object. It is not coming. Why this is not coming, right? Since you have added, so you have to restart your server again. Okay, I'm going to stop the server. Okay, so I'm going to restart the server. Okay, so now I again I have restarted. So now if I go and check this one, I can see the details. Okay, so the name is coming here. Why? Because we have added these details. So once you added the details, no, you have to save the details and you have to start the server again to get the things. I mean, reflected in your get method. Okay, and here if you go to the response body, so we can make it as a horizontal view. So here, what are the details you can see, right? You can go for a cookie. So as of today, this is no cookies. And header, if you know, you can see some couple of details like what's the catch control, right? And what is the content type we are sending? We are sending as an application JSON. Okay, so we are receiving the responses application JSON. And we can write some test cases. We'll cover that later. Okay, so this is what happened in the get method. Okay, so now for example, what we can do? 
we can add some ID value also. Okay, so I'm going to add the ID as a zero one one. Okay, this is what my ID value. So let me uh, save this. And again, we have to restart the server, right? Because we have added some details. So I'm going to start the server and I'm going to start the server again. There is a mistake. Okay, now the server is started. So now if I send this request, so it is coming along with the ID. So we have added this ID, right? So if we want to see only this ID, let us assume you have multiple ID. So what we can do, we can either you can use the path parameter. Okay. So when you send the request like this, you can see only your record will come. So for example, I'm going, going to copy paste this as one more entry, I mean, which is one more object, this object name, ID will, I will change as a 0, 1, 2, and change here, John, Peter. Okay. So I just save the database. Now, again, we have to restart the server. So I'm going to restart the server again. I'm stopping the server and restart. Okay. So now if I go to the postman, if I send this request, if I delete this ID, if I send this, I could see that two records will be coming here. Okay. So one is 001 and then one is 012. Okay. So now there are multiple, I mean, objects you can create, multiple users or tester you can create. So now if I want to filter something, then we can use the path variables, I mean, path parameter like this. So when you put 012, that will retrieve only 02 details. Okay. So if you don't want to use this one, I can use the query parameter also. The query parameter value is ID. Okay. 012. Okay, now also I'm fetching these details. Okay, so if at all, if you are not using the query parameter, so if you are looking for some other ID, 0, 1, 3, and when you send this request, you will be getting as a 404, which is not found. Okay, the resource that you are looking for, the ID, particular ID is not available in the our database. Okay, so which means 404, it is a resource not found. The, the particular resource or particular uh, ID that you are trying to look, it is not available in the your resource. Okay, that is what the 400 means. 404, sorry. Okay, so anything on the 400 series, it is a client error. So who's the client? We are the client. If you are making some mistake, then you will be getting as a 400 series. It can be 400 bad request or 401 unauthorized, or 404 not found, or 409, uh, you will get some uh, conflict error, everything. Okay, anything on the forward series, it will be client error. Okay, so this is what we make the get method, I mean, get request from the postman. Okay, so that's all about this video. In our, our next video, we will cover how to send the post method. So, so far, what we have seen, we are adding the entry manually here. Right, so th this is what our JSON file. So, we are adding the entries like a name, ID for the particular user. Right. So what we can do, we can we can create the user from the post method to getting updated in our database. Okay, that is what this this npm JSON is helping us, right? So here you can see if you make the post put patch delete method, the changes will be automatically safely saved to the db.json file, which is our data.json file. They are using the low db low db dependency to to make all the changes automatically get stored in our database. Okay. So in our next video, we can we can uh, see how to make the post method and how we can add the users to the this particular database. Okay, thank you guys.